remembering Denny Crum for more than just what he did on the court. Just how much he loved this town, loved people, loved this community. His wife sits down with WDRB to talk about his last moments in the city he loved. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us today at 4. I'm Gilbert Corsi. And I'm Fallon Glick. Next week, the city will get to honor Louisville legend Denny Crum with a public celebration of life. But today, we are talking to the one who knew him best. Denny Crum's wife, Susan, sat down with WDRB's Dalton Godby to talk about the iconic coach's legacy from his national titles to his final battle off the court. Death is always hard to deal with, but knowing that he's no longer in pain, does that bring you some peace? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it just would break my heart to see it be so hard for him. So even as hard as it was to be with him Monday morning and, and go through it, it just, he's a whole and healthy and happy person. He's greeted by a whole lot of wonderful friends and family and Jesus, and he's in a much better place. He would say, I just, I'm going to miss you so much and tear up and I just don't want to leave. I'm going to miss you so much. And I'm like, well, honey, you're the one who's going to the way better place. I'm the one stuck behind missing you. So there have been an outpouring of messages and support and love from national media, uh, college basketball icons. What does that say about Denny and the person that he was? I think just how special he was and how much people appreciated what he did. You know, he never yelled and screamed and ranted and raved and cussed or made a spectacle of himself on the sidelines. And he's still going to go up and shake your hand and tell everybody the other team and the coach what a great job they did. And I think they respected that. He was generous to a fault. He was loyal. His legacy for sure is being loyal to people and his friends and his family. And I mean, beyond the basketball, I think he would like that to be people what people also remember. Just how much he loved this town, loved people, loved his community. What were your final moments with Denny like? Just the two of us, and I'm happy for that. It was nice just to be here with him and, and just be with him when he went. I'm sure that was difficult. It was. A lot going through your head during that moment. What do you think? Only about? you're not hurt anymore, you know? Felton Spencer's up there waiting to give you a great big hug as soon as you walk across and it's okay because it's just too hard right now and I understood that. Tough loss for so many. Funeral arrangements have been made for Denny Crum. Visitation and funeral services take place Monday at Southeast Christian Church off Blanket Baker Parkway. That is the main campus for Southeast. Visitation runs from 11 to 2 and then the funeral begins at 2. A private burial service will follow. Then a public celebration of life event is set for 7 o'clock Monday night at the KFC Yum Center. Details about free tickets and guest speakers for that event are still being finalized. Well, the poll